who would have thought, twenty years ago that dogs like us, would be sipping on bottled water and eating organic grass-fed, hormone-free chicken. Back in the old days we would have been thrilled by any fatty food scrap tossed to us. You got food scraps? Lucky. All I got was cheap grocery stalkable. When they ran out of rotten weak old scraps, I'd get some mildewed kibble in an old filthy bowl. A metal bowl? Rusted. I did not even have a bowl. My family would just toss a handful of kibble outside and watch me hunt for every crumb. It was hard work but at least it kept me from getting bored. I was completely and utterly bored. We lived in the city, so when I wasn't busy barking at the mailman and ripping up important letters, I spent my time sleeping on the bed and chewing on the furniture. At least you had furniture. My owners lived in an empty shack and used to lock me in the basement whenever they went out. Luxury. Mine would toss me in a cold damp crate with a rotting bone for hours. That was before crate games was invented by Susan Garrett. Dog training was very different then. It certainly was. My family had no idea how to train a dog, so they borrowed books from the library. My family was illiterate. Couldn't read a thing. They would get angry when I lifted my leg in the house and hit me with the rolled up newspaper if the 2x4 wasn't handy. I wish mine would have only smacked me with a 2x4. Instead they read the cola method and used to tape my muzzle shut, hang me with a choke chain and beat me on the neck with a belt. My folks were too poor to afford a belt. But, they watched the monks of New Skeet on VHS video, and Alpha rolled me every chance they got. I spent more time on my back, than a 20 quid whore. I used to dream of being on my back. But I had to get up at 4am, fix the kids their breakfast, bring them to school, pick them up again, help them with their homework, explain algebra, and then read war and peace to them, as they drifted off to sleep. Sounds like paradise. I had to get up before the sun set the night before, milk the cow, round up the sheep, spin some yarn, knit a sweater, all before I was allowed to hunt for my kibble that had already been gathered by the local rats, who I then had to corner and fight for my breakfast. If we tried to tell this to the young puppies of today, who are getting massages and chiropractic adjustments, and competing in dog agility, flyball, and freestyle dancing, they would not believe us. No. No.